All right, what's up, YouTube? Me and uh, Joe Shoemaker here going to be doing commentary on Faisal against the Infernoid guy. I don't the know one what... who won Dallas. Yes, the legendary Infernoid duelist. The Florida player. The Florida guy. <laughs> so what are we expecting from this, Joe? I don't know. I just assume he's going to play Infernoids, and Faisal uh, is known for like playing Cosmos recently, but he did top, uh, I think, like YCS Chicago with with running a vis. So those are the only two decks I know that he plays. And both those decks lose to Infernoids. Oh boy. So we're just expecting Infernoid guy to play Infernoids though. Yeah, I I mean I would expect that. What if he doesn't? Well then then I then I'm I'm in for a treat. The advantage to this tournament is that they can switch up decks in between the rounds. Not the in the games itself, but Yeah, my plan is to play seven different decks and go XO. Oh man, you'll be a true champ. Yeah, the people's champ. So who's going first? I, do, I didn't even see. I didn't either. They're not even doing anything, though, so... So wh which one is who? Uh, Faisal is obviously Faisal Khan, 110, and then Eric is Zing. Oh, boy. Just a whole lot of nothing. I know, right? This is my favorite duel of all time. I know. As you can see, he went into main phase one and did nothing. Oh, oh, it is Cosmo. Cool, so it's going to be Cosmo against Infernoids. Uh, I, I think, I don't know, may, maybe Infernoid guy has some other tricks. Maybe. Can activate reasoning. Maybe, maybe we'll see. I have a lot of hope for this. But. He's going kind of ballsy on turn one here, don't you think? Uh, probably, actually. Oh, uh, well, no, because he had the Cosmo Town, so that makes it better. Because then it makes it to where he just loses nothing. It's pretty good for a first turn. I guess. Well, I mean, Cosmos, until the new set, don't really have a good first turn. We don't know what's coming in the new set other than the cards that were announced, but... So, just activate Reasoning, win the game? I think that's the plan. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, wow. wow. Those... Was... Oh. <laughs> Those are good. Am I wrong? That was pretty good. Now he's probably going to add Raid and just activate Raiden's effect. Yeah. Oh, God. This is going to get disgusting. He said the Saki mills have begun. Yeah, no, those, those, those were pretty good mills. Like, you got to give him credit. Like. Yeah. Oh, no. What's he doing? Whoa. Oh, no. Oh. This that's, guy. That's a good card. Oh, no. And for those that don't know, that just destroys all spells and traps on the field. Wow. Oh, and no. Has... And Void here is his forbidden lance. Oh, no. But Torrential. I mean, I guess. The Torrential doesn't even do any like all right the torrential will be able to give him four runners summon effect which is good but it does nothing to infernoids isn't schmazmo town gonna resolve yeah cosmo town's gotta go to grave and resolve and then divinity kills it but he still has raiden and Ontondo in hand yeah. Well, a Tondo is in Grave, and he has access to it, but with Raiden, uh, he's definitely still in a good position. Raiden, load it up. So we want to see, what, two mills here that are good? If he can mill two good cards, then he'll probably just win. If he can mill, like, one Infernoid, then he's in a really good position. Can you bring because out Divinity from the Grave? You can bring out all of them from the Grave as well. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yep. Oh. And other Otondo. That's crazy. They, they were all stacked to the top. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh, he said... He says, I stack, remember? Florida Because he's from Florida, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. He, that's the perfect card in the scenario. It puts it back into the deck. Oh, man. Oh, sorry, to the hand, not to the deck. So now the Rider won't get its grave effect. Now he can summon a Tondal. 
Yeah, it won't be game, but definitely not looking good. Oh, what's he do? Ooh. <laughs> Spicy. Just because, right? So, that 56 damage? Yeah. I feel like he's in the best position ever here. No, not the best. If he had uh, the divinity, it would have been better because it, I believe that one, that's the one that negates spells. What does he so, set? Like, uh, he could set, you know, I don't, another Void Seer, maybe? Like, that's the only other card I can think of that he would play. He Unless he has, like, spicy decks. He could have spicy decks, especially playing against Cosmo. Yeah, just that's Vanity's Emptiness, offers Handshake. I could see it. Yeah. Cosmoton doing nothing here. Oh, no, it'll get back Forerunner. And then he can shuffle back, and then he can put the two cards back into his deck, maybe draw into a better hand. He needs to do something right now. This isn't looking good for him. So many people give this Infernoid player so much crap. Well, it's because Infernoids aren't a good deck. He seems to be pulling it off quite nicely. That's true, that's true. Cosmos really don't have a very good matchup against Infernoids, though. Uh, so many big monsters, it's just hard for them to flow over it. Yeah. It's similar to uh, how Burning Abyss have such a bad matchup. Well, I, he has a farm girl, though. I mean, Faisal seems to have, like, just an overall good hand here. Yeah, he has a good hand as well. So they both had good hands. The only thing missing is reasoning. Reasoning top kick, please. Yeah, he didn't know a single reasoning either, so his chances of drawing into one are a lot better. Depends what his face down is. Yeah, and you kind of have to... If Faisal kind of has to hope that he has a Duraghetto, Honest in hand, something like that. You think he's got the Honest? Uh, you know, I want to believe he has the honest. One card in his hand is Slip Rider, and I want to believe the other card is honest. And then he would just have everything. Oh, no. Yeah. Here we go. Moment of truth. Flip honest. Yay, ver verification on stuff. He's trying to get those mind games going, asking if every little thing is okay. I don't know what he could possibly be thinking about. I, he's got two cards in hand, one of them's a slip rider, like, yeah. I don't know. Come on, Faisal. You, your play's pretty generic here, buddy. Yeah, Cosmo, as of now, is like the most linear deck in the format. I see a lot of people saying that he made the wrong play, something to the variety. Uh, he, you could say he made the wrong play, because he didn't gain any value off of the of blowing everything up, but he had the raid and the mills and everything like that. Maybe it's a set reasoning, and well, I well I don't know why you wouldn't have activated it, but maybe it's a good set card, and uh, maybe the spells and traps could have hurt him. So it's hard know. to say that that was a bad play. I feel like just baiting out all the back row, especially when you have the seer, is you know yeah. So. I feel like that was the proper play by, uh, but, oh, I, yeah, I feel like that was probably the best play by, by Faisal. But isn't Goyo just gonna, like, go to work here? Yeah, that's, that's the problem, though, is, is that Goyo's a card. Doesn't he get annoyed summon from the grave right now? Well, actually, I don't. I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Chain Link 1 would be Goyo, and then Chain Link 2 would be Slip Rider, banishing itself from Gravis Cost. So I don't think Goyo could get his effect on Slip Rider. But the thing is, Goyo's just 2800 right now. Yeah, exactly. He's bigger than anything he can bring out with Slip Rider. I 
I mean, there's nothing else he can do right now. He's got a slip rider in hand on one unknown, right? Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't shuffle it. I, I, I have to assume he's going to shuffle it back here. There's no reason to have slip rider in your hand. Yeah. He needs something. He needs good cards. I'm expecting a reasoning top deck. I am too. Like, Jesus yellow moment coming. Heck, why is he checking his extra? Can he actually do something? I guess it's possible. Overlay for uh, some crazy shit. Oh, that's a lot of back row. Well, he didn't have the honest. We know that now. Oh, he's got the reasoning. <laughs> could you feel just, it? Could you just imagine? Monster Gate's equally as devastating. Oh, Monster Gate is actually just as good here. Yeah, because he gets rid of the level 6, so it opens up plays for uh, OTKs and all that good stuff. Let's see what happens. Very, sl very slow for the game state, though. Yeah, yeah, they're playing really slow, especially given the cards. One card, uh, one card in hand. I mean, I mean, I don't know what's to overthink in this situation. And in standby phase, I don't get it. Does everybody on your channel know what they're playing for? Uh, a box of ducks, and then second place is two of the Megatons. Uh, Brought to you by Super Special Awesome Cards for being super special awesome. Of course. The name just fits it. I know, it really does. Yeah. Come on, Infernoid guy. Either you top deck the reasoning and you're BMing your opponent super hard. <laughs> that would just be the actual best BM. Oh, he, he didn't really have a good card. What does this guy do? It does things. Um, well, gets rid of a spell or trap card. What do you target here? Cosmotown? Oh, he's going for the face down. Yeah, no, you can't target Cosmotown here. Ooh, that was a good card to get rid of. Do you think he would have brought it out in attack mode and started swinging for game? Uh, or at least put your opponent in a really I, bad position. Yeah, actually, I think I probably would have put it in. Oh no, can he? Is he one of the ones that can't attack after he loses his effect? Um, or is that only? No, he can attack. Yeah, I don't see why you don't put it into attack mode. There. Oh no, this card cannot attack the turn you activate its effect. Excuse okay. me. Okay. I, I was reading the opponent's turn effect. Yeah, there's no point to put it into attack then. No attack from the Goyo, any reason why? This doesn't want to fuel the BS? Well, yeah, uh, giving him the card back, without being able to get rid of the card he's putting back out, and then giving it with the access to Cosmo Town, you don't want him to uh, to be able to use the lower level monsters effects. Oh, well, he did top deck Dark Hole. That, that actually is probably just going to get him back into the game. Is that just game <laughs> over? Uh, he's at eight thousand, so he won't he won't lose this turn. That's for sure. But hey, guy, top deck dark hole. Yeah, but that's that was definitely good. Well, I mean, it's one more noid in the grave. Why is Petruli just chilling there? He's thinking on void seer to uh save it from destruction. Oh. The chum block? Yeah. I don't see what the point would be. What? Uh, it's because uh, if he doesn't avoid Seer, then he can go for Farm Girl. And then, because if he gets Farm Girl, he can add back Forerunner. Uh, uh, so then he could, what's called climbing the ladder. You could go for Farm Girl, then Good Witch, and then Forerunner for the maximum damage. Fair enough. But he, he did have the Vanish Farm Girl, so now it's honestly just saving him from game. This is still going to be disgusting. Is there any Infernoid that inflicts uh, 500 damage, kind of like Barbar? 
<laughs> yeah, as far as I know, there isn't, but that would be really good right now. Well, you know, I don't really know what he could do to just stop the Infernal Attire, though. Because if he, if he has access to a Tondo and Grave, he kind of just wins. Yeah. And now he... And, now, and that's not going to be game, so... No access to Cosmo Town anymore, either. Top deck reasoning. See? Yeah, the, vo the voids here definitely saved him the game. So, what happens? I don't think he's got it. I definitely don't think the Infernoid yeah. player's got this. Yeah, I feel like he might not. He, he, was, really... he was in a much better position earlier. Maybe the Divinity wasn't the best player. I mean, but he had to get through it somehow. He, wow, Decatron is actually oh, so good right now. Oh, what? That was actually just really, really good right now. Here comes the Dank. Is that is that you, Anaku? Indeed it is. Oh, no. It begins. Is this game? Is this game? Did he just come out of the top deck? It looks like it, yeah. Because that's 700, so... Wow. Wow. What right. a savage. Anybody who doesn't understand, he negated his own break skill with Decatron to give him enough cards uh, in the grave to summon an Unku. A very good play. Very good. Did they not set it up as a match? They they'll just set it to go into the next game. We'll be fine. All right, cool. All right, cool. They did that. They did make it with siding, so that's okay. Yeah, of course. That was even though that misplay, or we're considering it a misplay. Like, you know, it seems like it worked out. Any other comments for Game 1, Joe? No reasoning. Uh, and he didn't use reasoning at all, and he didn't have reasoning mm -hmm. at all, and he still managed to win. So that kind of, I mean, I guess you don't only need reasoning to win for Infernoids. And we have uh, Willie Ray here being an awesome judge for this, helping us out. So what do you side here if you're Faisal knowing that your opponent's playing Infernoids going into this round? Uh, considering the fact that they know it's like a dueling network tournament, that I would assume Lancia or something like that. Considering the fact that Infernoids are a lot popular, and so it, and Cosmo is also very popular right now, I have well, to I mean, assume we have something to stop banishment, and because you cannot play Iron Wall. I mean, considering both players are very well known in their own circles in the community, like. We'll have to see. Could be something like Soul Release. Soul Release would be really good. It, it could It could be really good, yeah. But I don't know if uh, Faisal is that level, you know. We'll have to wait and see. Faisal already done siding. Do you know what he needed to sign? Yeah, yeah. with Infernoid, there's not really uh, many. You have much to decide on. You know what uh, what they do is very linear. If you have cards to decide, you just automatically put them in because usually they're blowouts. At least, you know, we don't have card destruction. Yeah, oh yeah, card destruction is a pretty good card. All right, well, who's starting this? You you uh you make Infernoids go uh, go first here. Yeah. Oh, relevant cards. What the fuck do Infernoids play for back row? Yeah, what do you set turn one pass? Warning? Kind of he did have a warning game one. <laughs> Trying to pull the old trap dust shoot over? Oh, boy. Oh. That was a good top deck. Is it over? No, it shouldn't be. That's a good card, too. This is looking pretty disgusting. Oh. Whoa, he's taking the damage. We may have a quick go on to game three here. 
At least going into game three, Inferno Whites can opt to go second. They well, the thing is, he might have cited in mind crushes to stop this sport uh, poor one or something early. They didn't have it though. Nope. Ugh. Goodbye, half your life points. Yeah, just like that. And here comes the back row. It's so disgusting that it's just a free mini engine. It's, I mean, it's pretty good if you draw it. 7200, and ending turn one for both players. Yeah. So if I sell sets four, wins the game. Oh, if he if he like sets four, or if he has like Alancia, he actually just wins. Oh, we got Mulligan coming. How many lands do they typically play? Uh, I, you know, it's Alancia is like falling out of favor a lot, but uh, I would say probably two, uh, probably two. Uh, that's a strong Mulligan. Yeah, you don't really want either one of those cards in your hand right now with four runner on the field. Like, especially needing back row at this point. Yeah, yeah, back row is the most important with his life points that being that low. Oh, enjoy the free thousand. Life points aren't as important anymore. Thanks, upstart. Yay, upstart goblin. Oh, here come just one. Oh, whoa, I want to know what the infernal player said. I mean, he could have very well just held the reasoning. Oh, well, that's a good card. Oh yeah, setting Galaxy Cyclone isn't. It? It's like one of those cards where it's okay to set because if they MST it, you can still use it. Here we go. I feel like he might not have that optimal of a hand if he has to. Regeki that. Yeah, I agree. Now he's gonna. Now his card's gonna get MST. Oh, uh, I, is he just trying to burn him out? This is not yeah, a good maybe, hand. He's got to have a way to get... Uh, if he can get rid of Cosmo Town... Oh, he, good mills. We need something here. That was a bad mill. That, uh, that, was, that was okay. That was okay. If he has Honest or Jura Ghetto, it's probably over. Oh, okay. That's good for him. But yeah, he needs to get rid of Cosmo Town. Cosmo Town's too strong right now. I think it's game. Wow. Oh. These these mills. Decatron, uh, Decatron would have been better to have before, because then he could have made a, some sort of synchro. This is still pretty good, though. Yeah, we're probably going to go to game three. I, I don't see how we're not. I I don't know what what he could play if he has like something crazy then we're not but I mean really just the mulligan of the one here we go oh uh, he had the other he had the other farm girl so it's okay yeah just attack ugh. Wow. Oh, oh. He had lands here. That was a good draw. Yeah. Yup. Next game. Game three. That kind of happens, though. I mean. Yeah, that's you, Gio. And, yeah, Infernoids tend to brick. See how game three goes here. So I assume Infernoids are starting? No, no, you're going to make Cosmos go first. Well, it's, excuse me. Yeah. They're both decks that always want to go second, so I'm not surprised by how this match is going so far. The dice roll determined it. Yeah. Will we finally get to see Reasoning? Yeah, I hope so. Reasoning and some good mills in the game. So, what's... 
I assume that we did see Cosmo go here. Yeah, I assume I'm assuming that Cosmo's going first. There's no reason to make it Cosmos go second. Comment of the day: Use reasoning. Chain lands you. Yeah, that that wouldn't really do anything. I know. All right, let's go, Cosmo. They don't really have a strong first turn play. Like that's the problem. That's why a lot of people play like Trap Tricks Mermelio. It's because that's like what just happened. It's kind of what they have to do. He just passed. Yeah, they don't. They really just don't have a strong first turn play. Ugh. Wow, he's banishing big monsters to put that out, too. What do you do? Uh, first turn for Cosmos, really? That's, like, what you have to do. Yeah, he... That's not a good sign. That wasn't a good opening for the Inferno player, either. I mean, it's 2,600. Yeah. So... And the set card is probably a Void Seer. Could be a reactive trap. Yeah, he. We saw Solom the first game. Yeah, here we go. Climbing the ladder. He's it's also kind of playing odd. torrential too, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. We saw torrential in the game too. So. No Cosmo Town. It looks like this game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think he opened Cosmo Town both games, one and two. Oh, there's the Lancia. Uh, Lancia is not that good right here, though. Yeah, considering he can just set and pass. Yeah, he's Wait. at 7,800. Uh, I feel like that wasn't a very good use of Lancia. I mean, he could very well have two Lancias in his hand. That's true. Yeah, he could have opened every Lancia. I assume that this is game. You know, I'm going to say it's not game. I, You know, I have to assume that he set something that can stop some sort of attack here. It's what I'm hoping, but you know. Yeah, because this, this would be quite the anticlimactic finish. Just the, the spaceships. Well, there's the annoying Cosmoton. It's a good card. Pretty good field spell. Wow. You just wanted to get it up and running. Yeah, I, I'm gonna see. I I'm gonna have to say that that's the better play, is to not go. Oh, that I, that was actually a good play. That's actually disgusting. Yeah, that that was that was a good play. Very good, Yu-Gi-Oh. And we have to say, if I all played that, the best he could too. Because I think if he goes for a good witch and tries to put huge damage on... Oh, he did open all the way. I told you he opened up both. Yup. It's oh, over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's over. He opened Wow, he both. opened bad. He opened bad game two and three. Wow. He had no plays. <sighs> yeah. But that was still amazing. The burial was a good play. Mistake? That's kind of an odd card to decide. That is. Yeah. And the Infernoid player was just destined to break there. Especially with those side choices. Yeah, I'm going to have to say that that wasn't a very good side. Well, any final comments on this? Uh, Infernoids lose to breaking. Not a single reasoning was, uh, was played, so he didn't win the match. <laughs> Cosmo Town's a really good field spell, and Burial was pretty cute. That's what I heard. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Me and Joe are out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, Mcole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.